Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Yesterday on the 26th of May, we celebrated the very first anniversary of Minecraft Dungeons. And of course, along with that, we got our hands on some very awesome seasonal trials. Pretty much a free event that every single one of you guys will be able to attend to. If you complete these timed seasonal trial missions, you can get your hands on some very awesome exclusive loot, but the most awesome thing right here, guys, is actually the cape. The birthday cape can be obtained if you complete a series of seasonal trials, so you're gonna have to do eight in total, and I know some of you guys might be very busy these days because of school or work, but um, that is why I'm here, guys. I will show you how you can get your hands on this birthday cape in just two days so it will only take you just two days of farming i think in total it can take even less than an hour if you follow this method so guys let's get right to it let's get that exclusive cape for you before we get started it would be very much appreciated if you could just hit that like button as i spent a lot of time working on these videos of course if you enjoy watching my content don't hesitate to subscribe it is entirely free also a huge thanks to all the members who are currently supporting this channel you guys are the best all right, so here we are once again in the base camp. If we open up the map for a second, you'll be able to see in the bottom left what your progress is on the cape. You actually have to complete seven seasonal trials in total before you can get your hands on this exclusive item. So if we click on read more right here, of course you can see um, the event counter. So definitely make sure to complete this in time because otherwise you won't be able to get your hands on this cape. It's very exclusive to this event. It won't show up in the future anymore. So uh, let's just close this up right here. Um, as you can see, see I already have four of seven of course it's the second day so you could tell um, we already um, did two yesterday and two today but that is not the case guys I actually did four yesterday and zero today and that means I can actually get my hands on the cape on this very day guys so you'll be able to see it in a second so uh, what we're gonna do for this is pretty much go to the mainland so on the mainland we always have these seasonal missions popping up uh, we've got one right here with the, the sugar rush as a reward and then a second one right there with the also the sugar rush so of course if you want to get your hands on all the different uh, seasonal trial exclusive items you're gonna have to focus on these items every single day because sometimes they're gonna be two of the same sometimes you can have two different ones for example yesterday we actually farmed for the sparkler which is a pretty awesome weapon which you can get your hands on and then of course i also found the sugar rush so then there were two of them but right now there is only the sugar rush anyways why did i get my hands on multiple of these items well guys it's very simple all you have to do is go to the map and right now of course after you have completed those missions they will pretty much have a check mark right next to them so that means you will no longer be able to do them but in reality, we have three different difficulties, right? So if you go to another difficulty, let's say we travel to Adventure or to Default, you'll be able to do those seasonal trials once again. So that means you'll be able to do six seasonal trial levels in total. Of course, the roles are going to be less interesting. You're going to find less enchantments on there, but that doesn't mean your progress will continue. So um, if I complete, let's say, two on Default and also two on Adventure, that means um, my total is going to be already eight to seven. But of course, for the best rolls, the best stats on the gear, I definitely recommend you to first complete them on the Apocalypse Plus difficulty. So that is what we're going to do right now. So this one, we have a pet count set to three. Players have the Beast Boss and Chant equipped. So this is going to be pretty interesting, guys. Not really sure if we have any pets right now. Nope. So uh, a fortunate business. But I'm just going to equip some very awesome armor, get my hands on some very nice artifacts. And um, then we're just going to snowball our way through this level. Ooh, look at that. We just got our hands on a splendid rope, guys. All right, so here we go. Uh, we have 18 to 20 stacks. I'm gonna check out my new Sugar Rush bow, guys. This one has Dynamo and also Overcharge, which is, in my opinion, a very powerful enchantment. So uh, let's take down the boss. Wow, just in one hit, guys. That was fantastic. Also, a 249 Ghost Kindler, probably one of the best drops that you can get your hands on on a seasonal trial. All right, so here we go. Victory on the first seasonal trial, the highest Apocalypse Plus difficulty. This one, of course, is also going to give us a pretty awesome reward. So there you have it, a 252 Sugar Rush once again. 
So if we open up the map right now, you'll be able to tell that we went from four to five of seven seasonal trials completed. Of course, um, we still have one more to do, but then um, that's it for the apocalypse difficulty. But right now, if you change back to adventure, let's say, you can see that the check mark gets removed. So that means we'll be able to do this once again on all the different difficulties. For this, of course, adventure mode is going to be a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is pretty much equip my speed ring gear. So I'll be able to run through these levels a lot faster. Of course, on the lower difficulties, you will also get these rewards. And if you are a little bit lucky, guys, they will actually have three enchantments. This one only has two. So one more sugar bow, guys. Look at that. So this time we got our hands on one with actually three enchantments. So this is also very interesting to farm for these items if you want to get your hands on as many as possible because of course the rolls are always RNG. I also found this corrupted crossbow in the level which is also daily trial exclusive. Very awesome find. But right now if we open up the map guys we'll be able to see that we have the cape awarded. So right now all you have to do is open up your inventory and go to the cosmetics tab and right there you will find your beloved birthday cape. Wow, this one is so fabulous, guys. So right now I have my 4 Yams Hero Cape, my Sinister Cape, and also the Birthday Cape. So I'm really happy with all these. Guys, a big thanks for watching. That is pretty much everything you need to know about the Birthday Cape, how to get your hands on it in only two days. If you enjoyed watching this video, definitely make sure to hit that like button as it helps me out a lot. And of course, if you enjoy watching my content in general, don't hesitate to subscribe as there is so much more dungeons coming your way. Right now, it's 4am out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.